Oh, and welcome. Okay, so uh, this is a game from a uh, from a previous patch. Yeah, uh, that shouldn't make any difference. But um, yes, I I played Noob's Hunter earlier, and I had a look. I played him four times. I beat him three times, lost to him once. I can't remember which game was the loss, but um, but anyway, here's myself, Terran. Looks like I'm going CC first. Now uh, here is Mineral Thief. He's actually gone Rax before CC. Now I've got to tell you, I named this game a Neo Classic. Now I didn't um, I didn't save. I didn't get my second guess there for reasons. But as a general rule, you know that if they gas steal like that, there's a high chance that they are actually rushing. I didn't expect Lings and a couple of workers. But here we're in a bit of trouble. And that is going to go down. And so I'm just trying to get the protection eBay down here. But now we're kind of in a race. And I would need 150 gas for planetary. Which I'm not getting right now. So I want to get the wall off. Wall offs everywhere. He's coming with his workers. I didn't consider that necessary right now, but he did. Getting his eBay down, it's still not a complete wall off. I'm not entirely sure why I'm not pumping out marines. There we go. Probably because I don't have the um, resources. But there, we just need to finish these off. And we have a wall off. Okay. So that's successful. You now, what have we lost? He's lost some, he's lost some, and I've lost some. I think I lost a whole depot. But, I've got one gas going. Should probably populate that. Got a few marines, so I'll liberate the other gas. MT's got a gas gone, but he's working off the gold now. So I'm one worker up, Protoss is a few workers up, but they haven't expanded yet. I just speed up there, because we're just in the recovery phase. Double eBay, I'm forgetting I've already got an eBay here. So you see, just putting down double eBay. But, yeah, uh, production wise, nothing amazing. Expansion, 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 and double orbital. That's all good. Yeah, basically recovered from an early rush. That's fine. The, uh, the assimilator's going down. And so, it's always a rule. On this map, you have your bases. And this base is on the Thief side, so it's his. Uh, he's got his 1, 2, 3, and then the 4th here, all in. Together I have my one, two, three, and four. It's like don't deviate from that. It means a lot less to deviate when you're both Terran, but if you got yours on one side, they got theirs on the other, it's simple. I, I do a marine poke, because I, I do it often. I don't have stim. So I'm just kinda of gonna sit there, trade as well as I can, you know, get myself a choke against the wings. Okay, that's fair enough. Stim only just started. One one about to finish though. So with army values at us having a total of 350, it's going to be a challenge. We want them to we want them to, to, to hit the planetary rather than hit the weak side of the wall. But is that going to be what they do? Every second they spend not attacking key units and structures, the better. So yeah, I want the only upgrades from these two, not from this one. Uh, important thing now would either be get your tech units like tanks and whatnot, and Stim's going to be denied. Now, if this is the game, Stim gets denied lots of times. It's it's late game before I actually get Stim. Yeah, two barracks down. And I don't have much. Uh, I got those two expansions going, and they still can be planetaries, and I have the money to make them into planetaries. And now they're streaming across the map. 
Uh, Minnow seems really good at being able to defend, but he can't do much to help me right now. And I don't have a problem with that. I'm just going to go to the safety of the planet tree. Keep alive what you can keep alive. And, you know, what has to die will die. There's a liberator. I don't expect it to live because he's targeting it down. And so I'm just interested to see are we getting planet trees? Just workers for now. Because one thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to lead them straight to your other bases. So right now we're kind of happy for him just to kill me. As long as we know he gets his time to continue. The mine's still going off. Uh, and I, I'm going to float to his base and keep the CCs alive. It's one thing that really matters. There we go. Planetary and orbital. So it's kind of optimism from my point of view. But like I say, I'm not going to float these buildings off just to show my bases. Mine's still doing the work, and now the libs pretty much going to deny a lot of the exit strategy of the Protoss. Now, I'll feel pretty aggrieved if if he gangs up on these, because I don't have the workers to repair them right, right now, but I can float these bases off. So, this will be in the recovery series, and um, I named it a Neo Classic. Ah, here we go, let's see, are the mules going to be in time? I think they are. So if you want to do any manual targeting, you want to target the areas where there's bunches together. So target target these. But oh, I need more mules. I'm going to need more mules. Oh, it's close. It's so desperately close. Okay, three more workers. Oh, it's so close. You're not repairing. Are you not repairing? Repair! For heaven's sake! No! No! Oh, no minerals! Oh, that's it. I had to... I, Guys, I had to repair <laughs> to get minerals to repair. Oh, but I got a queued up SCV. If I didn't have them queued up, I got these guys queued up. So, here we go. Sorry, back to the action. Missing this action, but that was that was so desperate. Mine's coming down to help out here. Obviously, the immortal DPS is great. Ah, oh, trip tanks there. The tanks seeing that off. Ah, oh, so this is <laughs> this is quite exciting actually. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, we need to get some eco going. Let's have a look at uh, 19 workers for me, 42, 35, 37. So we're not just ahead in workers, but what they're actually doing, we're not sure. And I can float a base back here. I'm on five five bases though, so that means that if I'm given a moment to recover. That recovery is going to be swift. We put a guard raise. I got one one, but yeah, if you recall, I was saying that the stim. So it looks like I'm going to start stim again here, and I'm getting the feeling that this lot's going to be attacked. But I do have another base around here. Okay, here we go. As ever, I try to use marines to do a little bit of a counter attack. Uh, unfortunately, they are, they are going to lead them to the planet tree. And at this point, these buildings now can be lifted off and bring them over here. Ah, oh, he's got an ultralisk. Oh, this is unfair. <coughs> so the Ling's just got to steer clear of the ultras. And the planetary has to take down. Oh, it's, it's got no extra armor. Ah, oh, it's one. And there's my stim. Now, it doesn't really matter. This doesn't really matter. Oh, wow, I've got so many minerals now. Um, so long as this is safe. <coughs> or this doesn't matter. You see, again, I can lift off here. I just don't want to tell them about this space. Because that's free mining right now. He's, he's not going to know about it. They're not going to assume that I have one. These guys are lifting off, and he's, he's focusing it down, and it's actually to his detriment. Now, you see, he'll have taken control off me, because when we're in a panic situation, it's so easy just to grab everyone and go go do that. But, 
they both have thirds now. Oh, so here's the upgrades. We've got building armor. Okay. And he's now got the Kynan's plating. And he's getting a 2-2. Two -two. So Libs will still be boss. And if you can get Lib range, all the better. And now we're pumping out both um, all these guys. Ravens and Libs. Yeah, so he's saying I can take that base back. I suppose it was my main. But here we go. Now I'm building barracks again. And just remember, I still don't have stim. Well, that base is lost. We'll see if he looks to this base or not. See, the problem with people is... People. Uh, very often players consider the other player is on similar economy. Uh, that was a lucky escape there, they didn't go up. And so because they're on their thirds, they'll think, ah, oh, cheeky force. Uh, that will be as far as they're going. We, we won't look up here. And so I basically got, you could call it two ninjas. They're very close to me ninjas, but... And I have two home bases. Getting the eBay's back up and running. I need a factory before I can build a... Um, Armory to get my 2 2. But now the Ultras are looking reasonably scary. They're not looking too scary for the main. <coughs> um, but there's a Phoenix going, no doubt for the Ravens. <coughs> no greater lib production right now. And as ever, even if it's only four Marines, I do want to. They're, they're probably scouting more than anything else right now. But I kind of forgotten to get the stim, and I'm sure the next time I want to use a marine, it'll be noticeable. So they're both taking their force. So a little income comparison. I am far and above. <laughs> that must be a meal drop somewhere. But as ever, I will be sending any extra gas to Mineral Thief. And he'll probably be sending me minerals. But yeah, I got a little hit squad moving out. Tech lab, so that could well be could well be stim and combat shield right there. And we're gonna have tech labs here. So lots of marines will be able to be produced. And hopefully there's an armory coming somewhere. There's there's an armory. Lovely. Still no stim. 15 minutes. Okay, we started stim and combat shield. This would be great if it wasn't for the fact that he's just spotted it. A little bit of counter attack there as well. So this one has my stim. Unfortunately, those. Nibs don't last too long. Ah. But, Ravens to the rescue. That's so close. This is the, this is the stim one. Do so we have Marines being? There's three Marines being produced somewhere. Okay, okay. Stim's alive for now, but we got backup ones here, we got 2-2 two -two starting. This isn't the best. No base seems to live for too long. But I got minerals galore, no doubt, due to the fact that Mineral Seaf has sent me some minerals. And that one Hydra is the anti-air. There's a couple more Hydra coming. This again, I don't want him to, I don't want to lead him to my base. And there it is. Another little counterattack again. And that's the thing. He pulled his whole army back for four marines. So that CC's landed. Mineral Thief, no doubt, will be looking for his next base. This one's probably good. 
Yeah, in the meantime, it's getting plus three claws, plus one air armor for some muters, <coughs> and I do believe Stim has finished. No combat shield though. Combat shield is on the way here. Get in. Okay. Next showdown. Uh, get rid of the lib lings first. It's a nice lot of libs, and they'll keep they'll keep attacking. And now, again, ravens to the rescue. And this lib will be taking chunks out of those ultras. Need to just always remember to keep that repair going. Marines, of course, can do nothing against these ultras, but they can against hydras and roaches. Meanwhile, the Protoss wants to go as well. He's got Tempest, which is good for him. Mass Marine is fine against this, though. He's only got 2 on 1. I got plus 2, but not plus 3 on the way. Come on, buddy. Macro mistakes, eh? It's so easy to be critical when just watching. Yeah. Okay, so fourth, no sign of a fifth. They're spending pretty well. But now it's basically the time little squads of marines like this can go counter-attack. And the mines everywhere will just, just ruin anyone's day. It looks like he was just about to put a new base down. But here we go, both of them being taken out in quick time. And the main aim is to kill the workers rather than the actual uh, army. So they're half a base saved there. That'll be focused down. And the Marines don't matter. The Marines know they're on a suicide mission. Now it's just target down individual stalkers. Just reduce the stalker amount. And we've got 3 3 on the way. Ah, oh, there's a spore right there. And there weren't only 9 Marines at a time. Uh, yeah, I think they've all got tech labs just in case I need to produce only Marauders. But there's more, more racks here. If we get them involved, production's going to be a lot higher. So, quick look to army values. At 11,500. I believe, yep, yeah, he's twice everyone else put together. Now I'll just do some trading here. Free workers. Thank you very much. I mean, he's spending well, but now he's got less to spend. And again, just focus down a few stalkers. You don't need to take them one at a time, but it's just the way I choose to do it. Which takes his army value to not very much. It's still more than mine. The mines are very mobile. Another squad of marines. It's still only nine at a time. These, these, these barracks, buddy. These barracks, use them. And yeah, just being annoying. And they're in vision of this turret. Oh, this one isn't. Oh, it is. But now this base is forfeit. And indeed. He leaves. Quick look to losses. No, the mineral thief managed to lose the least, thanks to all the planetaries. Yeah, oh, dentist, but there's only seven. Now they got they got a nice place here you know, above the uh, above the uh, wall, so it's harder to put auto turrets down. But he's lost his army, about to lose his income, and indeed, that's the end. And like I say, yeah, a neo classic, a bit of game of recovery. Thanks for watching.